Welcome to the adventures of your boy, Choji. Oh, Choji Panchi, the Frank of Japan. What wonders do you have for us today? The it, it turns out yesterday I was a little bit quick to jump on the gun of why are we not the Emperor of Japan if we've got most of the Empire of Japan when we can just usurp the Empire of Japan because all they've got left is obviously a few provinces on the Northern Island there. We currently control 87% of it, so we are we are well ahead of what we need there. Should we just nab that straight away? Go straight to Empire tier. Sure, why not? And now we are Shogun. Oh, there we go. That's really, really cool. So, in some ways, I, I did talk about this briefly, but I think our biggest problem from now on is not going to be... Not, not only, of course, is our ultimate goal to become the king of anime by taking control of uh, of, of Chinese cartoons, Japanese manga, and Korean webcomics, all, all in one realm there. So we have to be the Shogun of Japan, which, of course, we got ticked off. The Huangdi of Wei, so the Chinese emperor, and then the uh, Huangji of Korea. I don't know how any of those words are said. Um, but yeah, em Empire, obviously, both the Korean Peninsula and China. I don't know how far de jour China goes, though. Um, pretty big. Oh, fucking hell. Yeah, pretty big. Okay. That's going to be that's gonna be pretty tough, I will admit. Um, and how many troops have they got again? Because this is really our end game goal. Korea aside, we've got 150,000 men and many, 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 many tributaries that he can call in. So I think unifying the Korean Peninsula with Japan would be kind of our first goal. Mainly because Korea is also pretty decently defendable. Um, we could, to be fair, bear in mind that Rikuru was part of the, the, the Empire of the Pacific Rim, right? We could head down here and see if we want to conquer some of this stuff. And actually, to be fair, it's not a very large empire at all, is it? Man, it's only like these few islands coming down here. Okay. I, c I could see that. I could see that wouldn't be too too difficult to put together. It would make our realm very, very difficult to maintain. I'm not sure quite how exclaves would affect that. Um, I think they're within sea tiles. Yeah, it it's a direct sea tile, so that one's fine. As long as we take that, we can stay connected to, uh, to here. And then, does that connect up? Yes, it does, just. Wow, it's going to be difficult to hold it all together, but it could be... Could be quite a good idea. Obviously, we need to match China somehow, right? So we've got to conquest something at this point. I don't think Korea alone would do that. So we do have Yamashiro Museum, which is currently damaged. We can't, we don't have the 400 gold to repair that. You know how we could get some gold? We'd go out raiding. You know what? We can actually go raiding now because we're in charge. Ideally, we'd like to take back control of or take control of Yamashiro. Um, bearing in mind, it's the most powerful province in the whole of Japan. It's it's where the mausoleum is. And it's, it's of course, been the imperial capital for quite literally hundreds of years at this stage. And I think I'd quite like to grab it for, uh, for us. Bearing in mind, right now, we're operating out of uh, an island off the straight crossing with a single castle that we can control. Whereas Yamashiro would be a complete game changer. I mean, three cities, two castles. Obviously, we can't control the shrines. We need that. Can we fabricate Clem on it? It's only our capital duchy, right? Um, you cannot revoke it. Let's go the Shimotsuke. Okay. Uh, Inaba and Mino. Are any of those? No, we want Rokuhara. Damn. I think it's probably the easiest way to do it would just be simply fabricate a claim on it. Oh, we can start the restoration. There we go. I think that was probably our bad. And it's almost upgraded. I don't know if you notice that. It's also uh, almost about to hit level 2. Which means if we get enough gold from the ready, we can go straight into level 3. And that would be a pretty nice boon to start off with. To be fair, you don't normally get a a wonder. And to be fair, apparently we've been playing 176 years. Um... To get a wonder at this level is 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 pretty tricky, especially like a couple of levels up, especially given that we've been playing as a count for ninety five percent of the game. So this is this is quite a massive boom. We might be able to get some pretty decent upgrades. We got like Zonist opinion. That's no use. Um, I'm gonna go for the mechanics. It's always good to go for the mechanics first. So the unmarked tombs would be pretty good. Um, horse opinion plus five. I love that. Oh, that's what we had on our gold plated horses last, didn't we? Um, execute prisoners, obviously a bit pointless. The tavern, I think we'd probably go tavern and the unmarked tombs of our first one. Unfortunately, there's no royal bedrooms here. The one that allows for the seduction or the intimidation attempt as well. Same with the uh, lighthouse. That's a shame. Oh man, this one's actually really useless, isn't it? Dynasty opinion plus three. I mean, that might be the best thing we could ask for. If we go like dynastic opinion plus three historic mural for the dynasty opinion we could start giving our family members with with the bloodlines with both bloodlines preferably um like what our son do got start giving those guys specifically all the landed titles so we might even want to start pursuing a plot where we we revoke one of the duchies for the time being we'll focus on the capital and we'll go out raiding see if we can get some of those bloodlines so a little bit of feedback from yesterday worth mentioning some people asked me to go for uh gender equality but given that our government is apparently still anarchy i'm not sure how likely that is um Okay, that wouldn't be too bad. Let me take a look here. I mean, obviously, regulated inheritance would be pretty good, but the fact that we're our own relatively self-contained island is not such a problem. 
Um, centralization would be pretty good. Vice royalties would be pretty decent as well. Banking a little strong for the straight feudal vassal opinion. We're not going to have many burger vassals because Japanese feudal obviously allows feudal rulers to hold cities. So that's probably not going to be... That's, that's probably only got bonuses. Revoke title, I feel like that's a bit more important, isn't it? Being able to actually straight up revoke titles is way more important, particularly when we try and want to try and rebuild the capital too. I love the fact the council have no power. Uh, oh, they've done, done a decent job with that one. Do we trust Michitada for a new treatment? He does have 26 learning. The only downside is he's a drunkard. Should we give it another go? I mean, last time, so he's failed once, succeeded another time. If he makes it into a unit now, does it really matter when we've had like 20 kids? Hey, he actually had another successful treatment. Nice. Keeps alive for a little bit longer then. Let's... Who have we got in our prison? Oh, can I revoke these titles? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, no. Why are you in prison even though we've... Must have been enemy commanders that we captured. I guess we'll go ahead and ransom them all out then. Where's this one? Uh... Oh, the, the the head of our religion. Right. Hang on a minute. We could actually potentially vassalize this dude now. No, I'm a king. All right, so he's always going to say that. Is there a way we could... Is there any way we could take this title? Any claimants? No claimants. Uh, so, the, obviously... Vassalizing the Pope can be fairly difficult. Normally, you obviously have to take the landed title and then restore the papacy and then it default to being a vassal, but that's not an option with this guy. Um, I imagine the mechanic's not even there, really. How would we do it? We'd have to depose a ruler and then give them land and then push their claim back on the... Man, he's never going to do that unless there's a way we could possess him. Ghost gatherers? We might have to use the power of demons to take control of the religious head to force him to vassalize. And you know what? If anybody can do it, I think it's your boy Choji the Frank. Now, there is an argument that could be made for becoming immortal at this point. Now, I don't want to do it for, like I said before, it makes the game way too easy. But, we want to also breed in the other eye powers into our bloodline. We've collected two so far. We need to find a, a wife for Frank that has either one of the other two lineages. Bear in mind that dynasty up in, uh, in Brittany as well have both of them. Has simultaneously, uh, this one here specifically, this one's uh, obviously in, in Ireland now. Wow, that would be so good. Um, is there any Diplo range out of interest? Hang on. Pristine. Nothing at all. Yeah, we're going to have to go over and do some reading over there. See if we can find him a wife. If we can get both. There's a reason we don't want to be immortal is, is if we marry him off to uh, a girl who has both those bloodlines and they have a kid. We're looking at all four of the iPower bloodlines in their single character. And then obviously we would play as him. Alright, you can go up to 12,700. What sort of fleet size are we looking at? Hey, that's, that's a really decent sized fleet for that many troops. Okay. Um, we'll send these guys off over to... Somewhere around the Celtic Sea then, I guess. And then we'll, we'll see what families we've got kicking around. In the meantime, we're fighting peasants. Because, of course, why wouldn't we be? At this stage of the game, it is just going to be peasant revolt after freaking peasant revolt. Right. Um, luckily, of course, we've got some pretty insane commanders, thanks to our magic eye powers. I'll be honest, this mod has only inspired me to do one thing, really. And that's make my own... Make a mod. I, what I was actually thinking of doing... Let me know what you think of this idea. Is adding a game rules option to the traits mod I've already got that adds some fantasy traits. One of which could be magic eyes. I thought that could be kind of fun. Um, but it, it, it's kind of inspired me to work on something maybe a bit more balanced. I get that this is supposed to be, you know, a little bit ridiculous. Kind of give you all these crazy god powers. But something that fits into the base game. Like there, there should be a downside to a lot of these. But with the Sunblood, there is no downside. Apparently the Pristine Blood, to be fair, is somewhat more balanced in that you have to kill a few of your dynasty members. Which is quite a cool mechanic. I'd love to do my own take on it, though. It seems like it could be kind of fun. Or, uh, oh, what? Oh, she died? Oh, she got taken as a concubine. Yeah, so this event fires when the recruiter dies just as they're about to recruit you. So it, it's not like we did anything wrong there. We've just got to sit there and wait for them to send someone else, basically. That's a real shame. One thing I want to check quickly before I forget as well is how close... Oh, bollocks. That's exactly what I didn't want to do. Um, How much of Japan... Oh, my God. Look at how much of it is Buddhist compared to Shinto now. We need to start proselytizing as soon as possible, because if it becomes majority Buddhist, it's, we've got a choice of basically do we want to raid, but with the caveat that we are going to get constant uprisings. This kid's not coming out too terribly. Unfortunately, only getting rowdy is kind of bitten us in the ass a little bit. Haughty and affectionate. Ugh. All right. Well, I mean, he's got 18 martial at the age of 12, so I'm pretty sure we won't struggle playing as him. Let's put it that way. Right, so we've got the Emir of Toledo has... He has the pristine bloodline. Okay. Um, the Earl of Corn... 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 I have no idea how you say that. Um, we are gonna head over and burn that one down first, then. We've got this one. Okay, no, no, no. Where are you actually, though? Uh... Connacht. Okay, yeah, that's on the coast. We're fine. Just gotta double-check some of these, because I'm... Irish geography, not my strong point, we'll admit. Okay, we got one there. We got one in Wales, as well. Yeah, it's just a load of Celtic nations that all have the... 
That's so strange. It spawned over here. Cool. Come on. Prisoners, please. Oh, my God. We burnt that down. It didn't even bother telling me anything then. Wow. We, we No artifacts. No nothing. Shit. Look at that. What is their government type? What is that? F feudal? That's not feudal. <laughs> I don't know how to say it, but that is that is definitely not feudal right there. I think the Japanese feudal frames have overwritten the, uh, the base game ones. Okay. We tried that province. Didn't get anything. Um... What about uh, you were uh, raidable, right? On the coast, on the... No, that's the wrong province, fool. Maybe I should try baking them out a little bit more. Oh, look, this guy's got both. Oh, shit. Uh, he's got he's got three. These guys are now ahead of us in the in the lineages. Wow. Okay. Um. Well, let's head south then. See if we can bait his troops out. See if he'll lead his armies or something like that. Let's try that a little bit more with some of these characters. The head of the religion wants to marry... Princess Panchi. Sure. You know what? That's fine. That's an okay marriage, I think. Did that, is he leading troops? He isn't. Coward. God, fool. All right. Um, elsewhere, then. So, we've got uh, Northern Wales, I think, was another one. Let me just quickly pull this up. I should really mark them all as special interests, because I'm going to forget where exactly we've gone to. Right. Where are you? Um, you are here. Okay. Yeah, we'll hit that one on the way around. And then we've got you up in Northern Wales. We've got Anglesey. And then Ross. So a lot of them. So all of Northern Wales. All three of these provinces up here have them. And then this one right here. Absolutely nothing to show for all those raids. Not a single prisoner. I feel like I'm doing something wrong here. But I know for a fact I'm not. Um, no prisoner. No treasure. No nothing. It's not because the boats are full. Please carrying a lot of gold. But that. We can still take prisoners. We're personally leaving the troops. We are personally leaving the troops, despite the fact he is holding a cane and in his sort of, uh, in his regal gear there. I just don't understand why we haven't gotten any prisoners yet. What if we go and fight? Hang on, what about the king down here? Um, oh, was it the duke? Oh, the last time he had died. Ah, oh, shit, that's annoying. Didn't pass on his bloodline, really? He didn't. Oh, that's a shame. Chance of brave or guarantee brawny? I think we'll guarantee brawny in that situation. Since the force will work, he's come out pretty good. Groomed, brawny, proud, ambitious. Obviously, groom won't last very long with a martial education. I am going to sit here and wait for... Oh, shit. We turned into a werewolf and ate one of our commanders. And then got scurvy. Um, yeah, I'm going to sit here and wait for this to... Wait for this modifier to disappear. We want to build a pyramid for our dog. Uh, we gained a pyramid, giving minus 5% local revolt risk, but it would cost us 3,255 gold. Done. It'd, it'd be cool if that started building the Pyramid Wonder as, like, a way around the Pyramid Wonder restrictions. Oh. Of course he has. Yeah, of course he has. That makes perfect sense. The Earl of Ross is leading troops in Anglesey. Get over there. For anyone, we've got a higher chance to capture enemy commanders in battle. If we can grab him, we're, we're good. Go. Come on. Did we get... Nothing still, I assume. What the hell is going on? Like, all this raiding, we haven't taken a single prisoner in all of it for the, with the years and years of raiding, and we've got the increased chance of capturing enemy commanders. Nothing whatsoever. Oh, well, there we go. We've got fucking Angus of wherever that is. But, oh, fantastic. He's what I wanted. Get out. Fucking get out of here. Oh, shit. He actually became a brilliant strategist. What else has he got, then? Trusting. Not fantastic, I will admit. Um, so, we've got trusting, brawny, proud. Ambitious is obviously pretty good. Groomed. 31 Marshall is quite nice. And then, of course, the two Bloodlines rather than just the one. Now, no idea how this works. I have no idea if he has to do something special to unlock that, whether there is something else required to awaken it. This was actually what we had the first time around, right? Um, oh, no. We started with the the Sharingan, did we? I don't remember. Look, we've got too many mods going on here. <laughs> what a complete mess this has become. I thought we genuinely had the other Bloodline to start off with, but never mind. Um, Akashaku... Uh, um, 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 uh, this guy is concerned about non-inheriting sons. Is he any good? Not at all. No, I mean, we, we want to keep the land, obviously, to land our dynasty members now. 6 out of 16 on our domain size. That should be revoking everything in freaking Japan at this point. Ah, oh, there we are. Cool. Right, let's revoke back the capital then. That at least helps out a little bit. I don't even know if this is possible. I, I might have to dive into the game files and see if there's some, some limit on how far it is that, that you can raid. Why can't I revoke your... T oh, because he's under this guy. He wasn't always under that guy. I don't know what the hell happened there. Um, I would like to retract a vassalage from you, my friend. And it's Yamashiro. Bridge your feudal contract. We'll upset other vassals by minus five. It's worth it. So I'm going to do it. Good. And then you are going to get revotes from. Uh, since you have a kilometer, our vassals would not object. Thank you. 
We once again have the Imperial Capital. You know what? I think we'll make it our dedicated capital. Boom. It, it, it is just by default a better province. Sure, we'll have to build up some of the... Oh, right. Of course, we're going to have to build up all of our other, other crap there. But just having all this extra stuff, potentially, we'll have to start revoking all of this garbage too. It's pretty good. That, that'll, that'll be a massive help, especially if we do plan on fighting China. How was it I revoked titles? How, how do you revoke titles in this game? We go... We go entry focus, and then we sit there and we spy on this guy until we decide that he's done something wrong and then can charge him with treason, right? Come Japanese monastic feudal. So Japanese feudal allows us to hold city temple. I wonder if becoming monastic feudal will allow us to hold castles and temples rather than castles and cities. Should we give it a go? All right, there we are. Um, can hold castle, temple, fort, and hospital. Yeah, there you go. Um... It's unique among the Japanese government that allows the holder to demand religious conversion. Ah. Oh. And revoke titles from non-Shinto rulers unless they have the Confucian bureaucracy. So we can just start revoking all of our shit then. Again, assuming that they don't have Confucian bureaucracy. Um, but you, you definitely do there. Okay. We need to dig up some rulers who don't have that. Might be, might be, might be harder than you expect in hindsight. Um, my god, everyone's Buddhist and Confucian. Why have none of them converted over to... Oh, okay, so that might have been a complete waste of time, then, is what you're telling me. There's one dude. Sure. Demand that he embrace the faith. Brilliant. Um, okay, this might have been, uh, this might have been a mistake. I'd rather have cities than temples, of course. Bollocks. Uh, is there anyone else? Anyone else that I can demand? What about you? Demand religious conversion. Yeah, there we are. Okay, so any feudal rulers. But that's basically it. Oh, what a complete joke. I like that <laughs> I like that one of the conditions for adopting Chinese imperialism is follows a religion that's Chinese enough, has a culture that's Chinese enough. Um, I feel like you would you would probably upset a lot of people with 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 words like that. Let's go back to Japanese view things. Like I said, I'd much rather have cities than temples at this point. What a complete waste of time. Can we demand conversion of anybody? No, I was just gonna say maybe we could demand it, but they'd always refuse it. And the ghost gatherers haven't got back to us since the last person died. Maybe there was only one person in the society in hindsight. I don't know why, but this is also still not rebuilding. Okay, rebuild it. Already being restored. 56%. Great work construction. Oh, but it's still rebuilding it though. It just feels like it needs to notify me until it's repaired. Well, you can get out of here with that. God, I pray that one of these... Uh, do, how many do we get? We got two. We got Lord Mayor Pietro. Nothing. We've got this man is married to a dragon. Nothing. They're the only two prisoners I've got from all of this raiding. I think we're just going to bring them home. If anybody knows if there are any limitations on raiding provinces and getting prisoners, all we can basically rely on right now is someone with pristine blood to lead an army and then defeat them in battle and just happen to roll the chance that we capture them. Because there's no other way to get these prisoners otherwise. Oh, uh, what? I just feel like the society's bugged. Ah, oh, bollocks. So we can't even make our... Can't even make our religious head a vassal. Uh, it's a shame. It's not because she's a concubine, because you can... Like, married women can bring you into the devil worshipper society. Maybe we should flip religion temporarily and then come back. Obviously, if we flip religion, we can't... Uh, we won't be able to raid at that point. Ah! You draw your sword and charge the old blade master. Come on, you can overcome it. It's close to fight than you would have expected, but you are triumphant. We got Odenta. The great Denta, the best among the swords fought by the Denta that's forged by Mike Denta. Ah, I'm well aware that's not what it says. Uh, one of the five best swords in the heaven, but I assume that's the best of the best swords, given that they say it's the best sword. Uh, it certainly looks like the best sword. Cool. All right. Um, the best among the swords for... Okay, there we are. Boom. Nice. That does a lot of damage. Wow, look at Korea. They're massive now. They've conquested so much shit. I was going to say, we'll go to war with Korea next and see if we can at least grab the peninsula. Um, they've got 40,000 men. Look, granted, we, we've got way more than that. What kind of spell have we got? Nothing. So I'm going to have to fabricate claims. Oh, good. That's, uh, that's always great news, isn't it? Right, we'll start with, um, we'll start with the capital and work outwards then. What's fast? I don't know what a, a, a backguk of Han Xiong is. I assume it's just a county level title. Uh, at least judging by the cost. Yeah, it absolutely is. Fine. We'll leave him there. Try and fabricate a claim on as many provinces as possible. Bear in mind that our guy is definitely banging on a bit now. He is 71. He's got scurvy, cancer, and he's stressed. So I wouldn't be surprised if he drops down dead, but to all the uh, comment yesterday, it was like, why did you nerf the health down? It could really be happening with the situation. We're 71 with scurvy, cancer, and stressed. Like, we are still absurdly overpowered, even with 
every single one of the health nerfs that I've done. This guy should have died long, long ago, and at least he would have in the base game. Oh, good. Bit of camp fever as well. Oh, actually, to be fair, there is something ripping through the capsule. What is that? Ah, camp fever. You know what? I think I trust... We're not going to survive this. There's no way in hell that we survive camp fever with everything else my guy's got going on. We've lost the scurvy now, though, which is something. Uh, diarrhea, uh, rash, abdominal pain. You know what? I think we could be looking at, uh, we could be looking at camp fever. I hate to say it. Hmm, definitely. De definitely a little bit, a little bit of side of camp fever there. Come on, Chitata. He's done it again. Madman. Apparently, we already had the treatment, so we didn't even do anything. Does that refresh the cooldown on it, though? Yeah, it does. Okay, so we got another five years of health. Why don't we set a limit on how many claims to fabricate on Korea before we declare war? Should we say, like, two duchies, and then we'll... We'll go in at that point. Oh, that's a, that's a great improvement. Uh, we've lost trust, but gained lunatic. I feel like we need to retire. Poor old Choji. Is there is there the seppuku on offer? Can we seppuku ourselves? Uh, no. Why? Oh, because he's a lunatic. Sorry, my bad. Of course he can't. He's not going to seppuku if he's a lunatic. He doesn't realize there's something wrong. Oh, no. Uh, a lot of these guys have... So one of we inherited one city, so I decided to check the others. One of them is our heir. Um, maybe if we kill off enough of them, we might just inherit it anyway. Should follow the same succession laws. So you are gone, my friend. 1,283% plot power. What the fuck? There are still people who don't want to join. That's absolutely insane. It's like the whole of Japan that it's checking. Why? Look, that's absolutely nuts. I don't think I've ever seen a plot pile that high with still plenty of other people that we can... I assume we can bribe a couple. We can still bribe more people. This is so... This is so dumb. Reputation is ruined. Oh, no. However, will we succeed with our plot now? Oh, look. He died. Who'd have thought? <laughs> nice. Okay. Uh, what do we got next, then? So... Your error is him. Why? I don't know. Uh, it's got claim on it. That's why. Okay, so if we kill off another, uh, enough of them, I assume it follows regular succession inheritance. So if we kill him off, we should appear as the next heir in line to that. This guy is not quite as much hated. Um, oh, is that? Whoa, that was fast. Like the second we unpause, they, they got on there. And he's dead as dicks. Good shit. Okay, um, let's go ahead and check. Get out of here. Let's go ahead and check that title again. Are we now... This guy's also... Yeah, so we'll have to go through all the claimants, unfortunately, before it default back to the liege, but shouldn't take too long. I can't imagine there would be too many people kicking around with just a city claim. It just reset our diplomat as well uh, to, to reset him trying to fabricate claims. 76% chance yearly still, so just got to just gotta be patient on that one, unfortunately. Bollocks. Okay, well, that one failed. Come on. Is there anyone else we can invite? Is it even worth bribing anyone? It's got 310% on this dude as well. I swear to God, this guy... How? Why are there so many people with claims on this friggin' city? Oh, there's only there's only two more. We're fine. Um, I don't even think we'd have to kill off the women in this situation. So we'll just go ahead and wipe this dude out. And then hopefully, we'll be next in line. We're going to have ourselves a, a capital worthy of the mighty Choji. Or we'll just die. Or we'll just die. Uh, we added an entry to our treasury. Oh my god, I bet we lost so many friggin' artifacts. Shogun Choji ascended to heaven at the age of 75. He died a natural death. A natural death. <laughs> I mean, camp fever, I guess, is natural. Never succeeded in making a name. What? What the fuck are you talking about? Never succeeded in making a name for himself. Choji's most notable deed was participating in the construction of great works which he will never see finished. Never made a name for himself. The man had something like 20,000 prestige. Unbelievable. Now we are playing as almost his carbon copy. Frank. Shogun Frank Panchi. Of Japan. I, I like that he's already started uh, starting to condense his blood there. So we can skip over a little bit of that shit. Patience or patentia is the fifth of seven virtues. He also apparently got patient randomly, which is quite nice. All right. Maybe we could marry someone with pristine blood. Rather than try and, uh, rather than try and go for raiding. Let me just see who I can dig up. Pristine. Uh, Diplo range, preferably. If not, we'll try the lineage. Oh my god. I don't think we're ever going to be able to do this. Because the w way fucking raiding works. Lineage. Uh, we've already got Needus lineage, haven't we? I can't remember what the other one's called now. Just gonna have a look again. Um, pristine. There are plenty of people with that kicking around, though. Uh, pristine blood. Oh, I've still got Diplorian. Uh, yes, that's why. Right, what's the other one called? Uh, Sarin. Sarin. Diplorian, yes. Not a single fucking character. Ugh. Shall we? Oh, we can put him in the mausoleum, can't we? Yeah, okay. 
Um, you invite all people to come and pay homage to uh, the, the unremarkable Choji, who apparently did nothing besides build wonders that he will... Oh, God. Uh, what is it? Juzumaru. For a 2,000 gold. I mean, we've got the money to do it, so honestly, why not? Those who like him will improve their opinion of you. Those who hate him might not be pleased to get 150 prestige and 50 purity. Excellent work. This guy's already starting. I mean, the 13,000 gold is pretty insane. He's got 1,800 prestige, 400 purity as well. Who are we going to marry? Um... I guess we go for anyone else with this lineage, right? Because I think that increases the chance of actually it being... She'll do. Princess of Tamak. She's got the Sunblood. She's got Great Tear Eye. And she's got the lineage. Absolutely fantastic. Oh, is that the daughter of the the religious head? That'll be the, the person that we married off to, right? Our half-sister's daughter. Is that allowed? Well, let's get you over to career to start oh hang on let's go into a rebellion can we do anything about that can we conquest can we declare war invasion oh my god we got an invasion once per lifetime haven't we i think with our first bloodline gives us that uh can you use invasion once per lifetime i think we ever used it as our previous character because it wasn't um gain kind lose rivalries yeah that's pretty good we only did that from ambitious anyway it's not like they were actually rivals um i don't think we ever pulled that off with 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 the previous guy with choji just because he was never in a position whereby invasions were viable. We were never an independent ruler. But now we've got Frank. When this is done, we can just do a massive full-blown invasion of Korea. So, concubines. You'll do. We're looking for people with both bloodlines, preferably. Uh, you'll do. And finally, uh, she'll do as well. Fantastic. Look at that. And more importantly, they're all related to us. Incredible. Our niece, our niece, our distant relative, and our half-cousin. Is that the right word for it? What do we do for this, then? I want to establish an imperial court, because as I recall, that adds a new society dedicated to the court of Japan. Um, so we need to rule for 10 years. We have to have 2,000 prestige. We need to have imperial administration or late feudal and absolute rule, which we do. So just late feudal will do it. Um, and that's that's everything. So we just need the prestige and to rule for 10 years, which, of course, I mean, basically, it's just rule for 10 years, right? Especially when I go like that. Done. Okay. So we'll do that as soon as it becomes possible, because that sounds like it could be quite fun. More importantly, it's one of the few things I have absolutely no experience with. So that'll be uh, be kind of new to things, rather than just going around raiding and not succeeding. So I've got a question for you guys then. In the interest of actually being able to experience all of these mods, because right now it seems like the game is just going to fuck us. Bear in mind, we've played 180 years and not gotten any of the other bloodlines besides one that just happened to be a concubine in China. Shall I remove diplomatic range? We'd still have to obviously buy favors. We'd still have to do careful breeding to get all the bloodlines together at once. But it would give us access to some hopefully cool stuff that we wouldn't be able to see, I think, otherwise at all. Because it just looks as if it, it is impossible to take prisoners at this distance. I will leave that down to you guys to vote on in the comments. Do a little bit of last minute tidying up then. And then tomorrow we'll dive straight into an invasion of Korea. Uh, where are the women balls? Are there any in Diplo range? We could always go for... We know raiding for artifacts works fine. Uh, that guy has a landlock capital. Great. You definitely do. Uh, you are still on the coast. Okay, why don't we head over there then? It's the final thing we do today. That one's also on the coast. Right, let's get those guys down as special interest. And so you and you will go and see if we can at least grab the Wyvern Balls. If we can't grab any bloodlines, that I guess is the second best option, huh? Framk is now known as the rich. <laughs> I'm not really surprised. I don't really think that counts if we inherited a small loan from our father of 13,000 gold. Uh, Choji Commander of Japan, what's our... Oh, because we're awake to our bloody golden drop bollocks. That could be an issue. I'm not sure if it, it might only give you the additional chance if you yourself were obviously leading the raid rather than just raiders under your control. That's a shame. We'll get in position and then hopefully by the time the boats actually get over there, because obviously it's going to take years and years and years, this guy will come out of his... out of his golden droppage and then we should be able to... Get a whiffing ball. How many have we got still? Only two, right? Get out of here. I don't care about the serene doge. Uh, oh, I might also need to mess around with our... Oh, God. Here we go. Right. I might need to mess around a little bit with our books as well. Make sure we got Flamio Hotman equipped. Oh, wait. Was that better than... It was. I, I re-equipped uh, Odenta for a little while, but obviously Flamio Hotman is much, much better than that. So we've got our samurai armor. We have that ridiculous fucking amulet that gives us all sorts of just disgusting bonuses. We're never going to face a Vassal Rebellion. We might still have Peasant Revolts. We might definitely have uh, Hanseatic League. Nice. Might still get Religious Uprisings based on the fact that we have... Um, th that we are going to be proselytizing. Capital's already flipped over. We are going to be proselytizing for Shinto. That might rile up them Buddhists. So you know how violent them Buddhists can be. Ah, there we go. Nice, 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 nice. So where are... 
And the flakes are actually pretty decently close. That was great timing there. So let's put us on the center, definitely. We get Choji the second and Mochiyasu over there. Good luck, team. This this would already be the cherry on the cake. So funnily enough, when I added the Wyvern Balls, I added something similar to the golden drop mechanic whereby you could spawn in some powerful artifacts. Um, the Wyvern Balls, though, when we use them, will be spread back out across the world. So unlike the golden drop, you can't just spam the same decision and become the unstoppable man. Oh, we had a child already. There we are. Uh, a son already, too, is... Uh, I mean, that's infinitely better than our previous fucking character are. Right, let's go ahead and assign him a guardian straight away of your boy, Frank. Burn it down. Nothing. Brilliant. Okay, what was the other one? Uh, sail up the Volga or something like that? Hang on. Auto save. Not now is really not the time, my friend. Women balls rely on it. It was, like, somewhere around here. This problem is called Chud. That's, um... That's pretty goddamn special. Uh, O'Brien. You... There he is. Okay, so it's this province here. Kurt, Kurt Zenit. Oh, nothing. Fuck. Genuinely, th I genuinely, I gave him so much false hope then, thought that we got it. Well, we might as well, while we're relatively, I mean, we're in the neighborhood, more so than we would be anywhere else in the world. We'll, we'll come over here and go for another sing. This will be our final raid, and if this doesn't work, again, I'll leave it down to you guys to change the diplo range. My vote would be on yes, or at least increasing the diplo range to give us somewhat more of a chance to find these goddamn eyes. Ruler has both bloodlines again. That's, should be, that's, that's gonna be so dangerous. I really need to check if any of them have unlocked the special bloodlines by now. That'd be kind of fun. Oh, shit. Did they seriously siege it out from under us? Fuck. And now we can't raid it. Oh, you people suck. Okay. Um, I'm going to just check the rulers of all these kind of adjacent provinces because a lot of them were related. Look, they've all been... I don't know why Sicily's got so much stake on this lineup here, but for the entire episode, they've been trying to kick him out. Um, well, let's head over to Ireland then. Nothing once again. Okay. Um, see if we can get him to lead some troops. That'd be kind of nice. Nothing at all. Send it over to uh, this province and then obviously Northern Wales. And if we don't get anything from that, I'll send the sh I'll send those ships just straight back at that point. Ready for our invasion of Korea tomorrow, which should be... I think we should be able to grab a lot of their stuff. I, I want to focus on just the peninsula, ideally. But if we're able to grab any of their other empire that they've built, obviously towards the northern points of the map, that would be pretty cool. You know what? I think it's almost safe to say one of these mods is fucking we're raiding. Damn it. Okay. We're, we're done here. Thank you all for watching. Uh, I'm, I'm a little bit annoyed that none of these raids have worked. I mean, it's particularly when I, when I swapped out some of the really overpowered stuff for the slight chance of the increased chance of capturing people. And even that did fuck all. So, oh, I'm going back to an island that we're no longer living on, I guess. Wait, have they taken... We lose... Oh, shit. We must have gavel kinded it. Bollocks. Well, on the plus side, he hasn't got the crazy eye power. So, he's, he's just like one of the subservient dynasties. Thank you all for watching. That's, that's genuinely a real shame. I think I'm just going to disable Diplo range either way, to be honest with you, because I really want to see some of the other features that this mod has to offer. And as it's going, we are getting so, so unlucky that we're never going to see it by the time we've conquered the rest of... But, I mean, assuming we take Korea tomorrow, that just leaves China. Once we've taken China, that's it. Goal succeeded with us. So, let's let's just do it. Let's, let's embrace the madness while we've got it going, because I can't imagine we're ever going to come back to these mods. Thank you to the insane top tier level patrons for making the series possible. As always, a big thank you goes out to James Shea, Atmosis, Chris, Tyler Kendall, Skaz, Justin Wallace, Sirit, 313, Chicken Wang, HD, Peyton Denisar, Dante Mordekane, Gogolus, Goatfather, Anthony Gawley, Asana Kirito, my name isn't Dio, and everyone else at the insane tier levels on Patreon. Big shout out to these guys for going to the top level of channel support out there. Thank you all for making the channel possible. And a thank you as well to Astro. Hey, I'm Alex, Fat Joe, Izzato, Asaro, Magister Militant, Pantherpel, Erotha, Organized Confusion, Cogzel, Bokbin, Cam, Jackson P, and all the other patrons as well for making CK2 possible. What you probably didn't realize, it genuinely took about an hour and a half to for, for, for me to, I think, be able to edit into a watchable video. Um, literally, there's nothing going on. I, again, that's one of the issues with playing a big world map like this is, is there's very little to... Uh, to do because it's a lot of work for them to flesh it all out thoroughly like there are no real japanese specific mechanics not to the level of like playing as catholicism in the base game which i'd argue mechanics make it more fun anyway but maybe we'll, we'll talk about that more on the uh, the end of month patreon reflection post